Hi folks, today we're diving into the ultra dynamic weather plugin in Unreal Engine 5.4 to create a stunning rainy evening scene in an urban environment. I will walk you through some key parameters to help you achieve the perfect rainy atmosphere. So let's get started. All right, the first thing that I want to do is to remove the existing ultra dynamic sky and weather blueprints from my scene. So in this regard, we can start from scratch. Okay, now I'm gonna go to content browser and let's bring the ultra dynamic sky to our scene. And after that, it is time to drag the ultra dynamic weather blueprint to the scene. Okay, now the first thing that I wanna do is to go to ultra dynamic sky and let's tweak on time of the day parameter to kind of add an evening mood to our environment. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's go to ultra dynamic weather. And the first thing that you can see in the details tab is the weather presets. And we have a couple of ready to use weather presets over here. And I'm going to choose the rainy one. And by doing that, you can see we have kind of a rainy condition in our environment. So let's move on. And here we have the rain particles category in the details tab. But before we continue, I just want to change the camera viewport to another one let me see yeah this one is okay because in this view the light that shines from the lights of that car can help us to better understand the exact function of the parameters related to rain particles so let me see yeah this view is totally okay we can see the splashes rain particles and puddles and i'm gonna search for ultra dynamic weather it's here and let's go to the rain particles category. All right. The first parameter that we can tweak on is the rain particles spawn count, which controls the number of rain particles generated per frame. And since I want to have a little bit more dense rainy day, I'm going to increase this parameter. But let me just bring the car a little bit more closer to the camera and change the viewport to something like that and let's move on the next parameter is raindrops scale which adjusts the size of the raindrops in the scene and i want to decrease it to something like 0.7 rain velocity randomization adds variation to the speed and the direction of the rain particles and since i don't want to have very regular rainy environment i'm going to increase it to something like 1.4 and after that, we have rain particles color multiplier, which alters the color intensity of the rain particles. And since the rain particles are in front of an orange light shining through the car, I'm going to set it to something near to orange because it would add a little bit more interesting vibe to our shot. And after that, we have raindrops alpha, which sets the transparency level of the raindrops. And I'm going to increase it to something like 1.2 to have kind of more opaque raindrops. And then we have rain refraction intensity. And as its name indicates, this parameter determines how much light is refracted through the raindrops. And I'm going to increase it. And the next parameter is rain ambient light intensity, which controls the overall brightness of ambient light during a rainy scene. And after that, we have an interesting one, and that is rain light sparkle, which adds shimmering effects to the rain particles under light sources. And this is the reason that I'm going to set it to something like four. And after that, we have particle relation, which controls the speed of rain particle animation, affecting their perceived motion, which cannot be so touchable. So let's move on. And here we reach two splash related parameters. And the first one is the frequency. And this one sets how often splash particles are generated when raindrops hit surfaces. And since this may not look so realistic, I'm going to set it to something nearer to zero, just like splash particle scale. And most of these parameters, as you can see, are kind of self explanatory. And finally, we have Particle rendering mode, which defines how the splash particles are visually rendered, which I preferred to set it on transparent. And that's it. Thanks for watching, folks. 
I hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial on ultra dynamic weather in Unreal Engine. And if you want to see more in-depth videos on this plugin, drop a comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like for more awesome Unreal Engine tips and tricks and catch you in the next video and happy creating.